Okay, so today we're just going to talk about IFC. So IFC stands for interferential current, and it's a deep form of electrical stimulation. And um, how it works is that four electrode pads are placed in the affected area so that two electrical currents interfere and cross with one another, hence the name interferential. So when applying this modality, the patient may feel a tingling sensation in this area, and it may increase uh, to a, a weak muscle contraction type of sensation. So this, the purpose of this modality is to relieve pain, stimulate muscle, increase blood flow, and reduce edema. So interferential current overcomes the skin more easily and penetrates the skin more deeply than a regular electrical stimulator. So therefore there is less discomfort which makes it more desirable than other forms of electrotherapy. So contraindications for the modality would be that it shouldn't be used on people with pacemakers, infections, malignancies, pregnancy, epilepsy, or uh, musculoskeletal problems where muscle contraction could make the condition worse. Uh, precautions of the modality are that when using IFC, never place electrodes on each temple, near the eyes, in the mouth, on the front of the neck, on the groin, or on areas with altered or decreased sensation. Benefits of the modality is that IFC is able to modulate acute and chronic pain, stimulate de-innervated muscle, strengthen muscles, increase range of motion, decrease muscle spasm and guarding, and help facilitate the healing of wounds, fractures, and strains, and it also stimulates nerve regeneration.